Yes, sir. Got that new bumper painted. We're about to tape it up because uh, I'm putting it on the inside. So, like, when I put everything back in, like the fog lights and stuff, it won't be it won't be scratching up the outside and the inner side but yeah bumper look good what's up guys I'm back with another vlog I got the new bumper back there on my arm I'm gonna get it and I'm about to start putting it on I think it's gonna be a little process I got I got to get these out first these parking sensors I heard they kind of a pain but I'm gonna go ahead and take this off first so I don't scratch nothing up. And yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get to it. All right, so yesterday, I didn't finish up. This is the aftermath of yesterday. This uh, centerpiece, it comes out. So I had to take it off the old bumper and put it on this bumper. And now I'm about to go ahead and get the valence on. I already got my parking sensor brackets in. And then these are the parking sensors, so I just put those in and twist them in after I get the bumper on. And uh, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get this valence on. And we're gonna go ahead with the next step. All right, so I got this baby on. Um, I'm really just about to put the bolts on and hand tighten them and put everything in. Next, we'll actually tighten them down because I got this that goes right here and I don't want it like I want to make sure everything's straight before I tighten everything down because uh with these bumpers sometimes you have to align and fix some stuff so just taking my time with it the main thing really is like putting this back on and the bottom valence like it's a lot of little small bolts and stuff that you got to look out for and make sure that's in place um and like actually mounting the mounting the actual bumper up it ain't that bad it's just really just like aligning everything and making sure using these using the tow hooks that can help you put them on to be honest because if you got those two in the right spots you're good and when this when you get these hooked up that clip for the screw is right there and it goes I'm trying to get the angle it goes like inside the bumper you see right there so those pretty much clip in and snap and hold everything in place so like it ain't even bolted up right now but it's barely moving so I like the way you said we did that. So I'm about to go ahead and try to finish it up. This truck already a little better. I was so tired of that dent. Um, I got these too, but I feel like they don't really do much. These, and they're pinned in, so I don't really have anything to get them off besides a hammer. Uh, If I'm not mistaken, Probably my valence, that uh, front bumper valence, I think that the bottom of it hooks inside there, yeah. I think that would have been it right there. I think those go inside those two, but I'm not really worried about that because that shouldn't move anyway because I'm going to have everything intact. So we're just going to do it out there. Here it is. Just finished it up. Uh, got my new badge on there. It's with the black Z instead of the red. Uh, don't worry about this. That is the glue from the old one. I got to get that off and I'm going to put the sides on tomorrow. Kind of ran out of time. It's getting dark. So, yep. It was, uh, that was a job. The guy uh, told me they usually charge like 150 to do it. And I was just like, nah, I'll do that myself. But I see pretty much see why they charge that much. But either way, though, they have the proper tools and all that. Here, you just pretty much make stuff work. So 
Yeah. About it. Got my parking sensors in. Uh, at first, I had I had the bumper on wrong. There's like two clips right here. I had it sitting on the inside like this, but they were supposed to like hook over the bracket that's already on the truck. So I had to pretty much take the bumper back off and put it back on. But I will see y'all tomorrow and I'm gonna get back to it and I'm gonna uh, get this thing a bath and put the badges on. So y'all stay tuned because it's definitely about to actually look good now. Even the bumper made a big difference, so. Yes, sir. This front end looks so much better. I got like some small blemishes that I'm gonna try to get out like this. And I'm gonna see if I can do something with that. But those came from when I hit that lady and that was why that bumper was messed up. That was like right after I got the truck and it was in there when I had picked it up from paint and I threw the water hose in there and I got that nice little scratch right there, but you can't see it from here. So, and it looked a lot better than that dent. So, and my dad got some of this stuff and it removes uh, scratches and stuff like that. So I'm gonna give this a try and then I'm gonna go ahead and try to get on those get that uh adhesive off and i also got some stuff that'll help me get that off i'm actually try to use a blow dryer also so it'll make it make the process much easier and faster and we're about to try this and see what we got so it didn't really do much it helped a little bit i went over it like twice it got a little bit of that color out i feel like a lot of that's also gonna come off when i uh wash it because a lot of this stuff is from my hands being dirty and it got some of that green out on this because that water hose is green so that's what hit it that's how i know that's what it was that hit it so about to go ahead and try to get these this badge glue off so i can put the new ones on and i will show y'all when i'm done it kind of looks sick like with the it kind of looked like they just got blacked out badges on it but that's just the glue this is about to be a long process i hate that it's so thick because i'm trying to peel all the thick part off first and then use the adhesive stuff to get like the rest of the glue off gonna be a pain or well, not it won't be as hard i wish i had somebody to hold the camera but now that i got this heat on it it's actually coming off pretty easy you see how that one like that's the one right there it came off from right here but i just peeled it all the way off so and it's coming off like all the way at the bottom so hopefully it just peels smooth off and I won't have much glue to get off. Got the old ones off, all the sticker. And I got new ones on. Don't worry about how dirty it is. I'm about to take care of that right now. Yeah, got this one on. I like the way it looked. Let me go ahead and wash this thing up. Here it is less flaws got my badges on got to wash and got my bumper fixed might go take some pictures later today's my birthday i don't really know what i'm gonna do for it but yeah i got my reclusive tag on yes sir I will see y'all at the next spot. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to uh, do an outro to the video. Guess where I am? You already know. This is spot. Yes, sir. This thing looks so much better. Front end straight now. 
now I can take pictures from the front and don't be embarrassed or be trying to hide it. Yes, sir. I hope that this don't, um, it had like, I guess because it's aftermarket. I know when I bought the TRD one for the Avalon, it started getting like some type of, like it kind of looked like old wax or something on it. But it was just like on there and you couldn't get it off. And I hope these don't do the same. But I don't think they will because I think these are like GM because I think they actually made some black ones for the people that actually want black instead of red. But yeah. Y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think. But it's almost, truck's almost done. I just need a toolbox and a darker tint, of course. But yeah, y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get some more going. Try to keep coming with more heat. Um, I am gonna bring the Avalon back eventually. I know y'all haven't been seeing that much, but I know I have some subscribers that also like the truck too. So y'all stay safe. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. Y'all stay tuned, and I will see y'all in the next one. And thank y'all for watching. I'm out.